we talking about pickup? What's uh, what's different? You know, there's a lot of things, Kelly, that we're trying to introduce this holiday season. One of them is collection to the car where we're offering service from the retailers to your car, where if that's comfortable for you, that's the service we're going to provide. Also, from our stores to your doors, free delivery from any one of our shopping centers to within 60 miles wow. of the shopping center, we will deliver free of, free of charge. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that if I live... And your malls are in Florida, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So if I live within right. about an hour's drive of your mall, I can pick anything I want from the store. Who's who's That's paying correct. for that delivery charge? There's no charge. We are offering this service to our customers and our guests. We're in a very difficult time. We are doing everything we can to make that purchase from our brick and mortar retail stores as seamless as possible. And we want to provide as much service to our loyal customers and guests as we can. Right. But my point, Nate, is because we all know there's no free lunch. Is this something that you as the mall operator are kind of taking the cost for in order to to help your stores? And I mean, that that seems like a huge benefit. Um, I'm wondering about the uptake and kind of the way that foot traffic looks in general at the malls. And if, if you even want people to kind of come in person or if you would prefer that they do it this way, even if it costs you. We were just talking about this with The Gap and other companies you know, these near-term costs to kind of keep going, you know, is that worth it for the long run? I think it is, Kelly. I think, the listen, we're trying to figure this out as we go. We're at a period of time, and we're trying to offer a safe environment for the guests that attend the shopping center and want to visit the shopping center. It's holiday tradition. It's the shopping selling season, which is very important for our brick-and-mortar retailers. And we're trying to provide as much tradition as we can but also a much higher level of service to our guests that they might not be used to in the past. So we want them to think of Somerset and Mall and Millennia and Waterside Shops in Naples and Palm Beach Gardens when they think of their shopping destination of choice. And however they want to get yeah. those goods and services, we want to provide it to them in the best, most seamless way possible. One final quick question, Nate, because I note here you say that retailers are requesting shorter hours because they can't find enough workers. Is that because workers are afraid of COVID, afraid of catching COVID? Well, I think, you know, listen, everybody's been experimenting with what works in terms of a service level and a number of hours, shift A, shift B. If shift A goes down, they revert to shift B. So we are going on shorter hours, 11 to 7, but we will extend those hours during the key shopping days of the holiday season, Black Friday and the week after and then the week before Christmas. So it's going to be a very varied hour schedule and uh, it's going to just change mm -hmm. depending on what we hear back from our stores. And we've done a lot of that work up front to know what they're able to provide and what they're able not to provide. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.